In the world of video, things are changing. Thanks to the invention of the internet and websites like YouTube, it's easier than ever to get your videos seen. What was once a place for novelties and hobbyists is now an entire economic ecosystem, supporting legitimate businesses. And as opposed to traditional media broadcasting, which was a competitive industry to get into, it seems nowadays all you need is a camera and something to say. But to fully understand this new world, we have to go straight to the source. Hi, I'm Kevin Williams. I'm the creator of Roundtable Entertainment. And we're a media company that creates content and distributes it onto YouTube with currently an audience of over 270,000 subscribers at the time of this interview. The Roundtable itself has humble origins and have a more non-traditional setup. While traditional broadcasting has entire offices and tons of employees, they currently operate out of a home office and record videos in their living room. Despite that, the channel is extremely successful, garnering more than 800,000 views a month. It's very independent. You're kind of figuring things out on your own, but at the same time, there's no one standing over you telling you what to do and preventing yourself from growing. Like, you get to make your own mistakes. As before, we require having all the experience. You can really just teach it yourself. People are getting more and more creative and more and more stuff taught each and every day. If anyone knows about the world of modern broadcasting, it's George Mikla. A professional freelancer who knows his way around a switcher, George has an impressive portfolio, including work for both NBC and Lifetime. Uh, I'm George Mikla. I'm a full-time freelance entertainment and sports technical director. This is more large scale. Uh, a traditional broadcast where you have all these production people uh, is kind of going away uh, because computers can do so much now. Uh, but I always think that there will be some kind of demand for this type of broadcasting um, and this type of production. I just don't think it's as widely taught and as widely used as it used to be because of technology. You have to learn very quickly in this industry um, and it's always changing. So be willing to adapt. If you don't, you know, you're out of the job or you start sitting there idle, not trying to figure out, okay, where is my job taking me? But what do people in the traditional world of media think of these changes? A lot of the things about journalism haven't changed, okay? In other words, if you put a bad story out slowly or a bad story out quickly, it's still a bad story. The, the, the speed by which information travels now has accelerated uh, incredibly. It's a tool. It's like any other tool. Um, you can use it well. You can use it poorly. This industry is changing. I have been very fortunate um, that I've been able to get married, have kids, raise those kids, get them through college, doing what I do. I'm not so certain going forward that the industry is going to be able to provide the kind of income that would allow for that to happen. The world of video is changing, no doubt about that. However, these changes are opening doors for a younger generation who love to create. No matter how you look at it, one thing is clear. In this industry, you must adapt to survive.